On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me an imperfect cadence. An imperfect cadence doesn't exist. Back in the old days of Western music development, when the Greeks were like messing about throwing ideas onto the table, one of them decided to look at a perfect cadence, which is a five to one chord movement. Oh, this, this builds tension, then releases tension. We call it a perfect cadence, it's great. But what happens if we reverse them? Well, they probably, they probably wouldn't build and release tension, would it? Well, well no, <laughs> but if we reversed it, it would be called an imperfect cadence. <laughs> yeah, okay, Clive, you carry on. Uh, wait, we, we can't do that, it's not gonna, it doesn't really have a purpose. Yeah, just let Clive have this, it's not gonna catch on. Well, it did catch on. And now lots of people think that an imperfect cadence is something that you have to understand. And you test it on it in school. What is this? What is this, everyone in class? Listen to this. What is this cadence? Oh, that, that's a... that's a plagal cadence. Oh, <laughs> no, that's an imperfect cadence. This is a plagal cadence. Yeah, but yeah, but they're the same chords. But they... They've got different names. Yeah, but, but the every note moves exactly the same way into the next one and it resolves the tension in the same way that a plagal cadence would. So why, why have you got different names for the same thing? Because Clive said so.